Welcome to Behind the Design with the East Tennessee Community Design Center, where we showcase local talent to take a deep dive into all things design, history, community planning, and more. This episode spotlights the Everly Brothers Park and how we brought its vision to life from an abandoned gas station site in the center of Bearden to a pocket park, then an international destination. The Everly Brothers Park is a tribute to the duo whose storied musical career has deep roots in Knoxville. Their close harmony combined with their blended country, rock and blues style directly influenced The Beatles, Simon and Garfunkel, Emmylou Harris, Bob Dylan, Sir Elton John and others. Here are the Everly Brothers. <laughs> Alan and I start to walk across the dance floor to go and say hello to Norma. In the middle of us trying to get there, and it wasn't very far, but Bye Bye Love by the Everly Brothers came on really loud, and it changed my life. I mean, I'd been singing with Alan since I was six years old, but the Everly Brothers were brothers, and therefore they had a DNA connection that that me and Crosby, or me and Alan, we, we could sing really well, of course, but we couldn't get that blend because they were DNA connected by being born by the same woman. God bless Margaret. Kind of goes way back when everyone just first started talking about this and from a tourism perspective we really engaged with the project because we thought what a great story to tell with the Everly Brothers and then a pocket park kind of in a unique location that interacts with our greenways we just thought it was a great initiative. The Design Center was approached to assist in the development phase of the park with the close help of our expert volunteers Drawings were created for the park that would later heavily influence the final design. The Design Center had done a concept for Everly Brothers Park. There was a fan club in England who ended up giving a substantial sum of money to help with the construction of the park. To find out that here are these people who are interested, interested in something and it has a local connection but it also has international reach. It's surprising and, and amazing. It's a compliment to their music. It's a compliment to Ike and to Margaret, you know, their mother and father, and to themselves, Don and Phil. It, it's a, it's an, an honor to their music. And hopefully that park will be there for a long, long time. The Design Center is proud to be displaying quotes along the park sidewalks from musical artists that were influenced by the Everly Brothers. When you asked me to try and help you with the, with the Everly Brothers Park, I realized that their music was a great part of, of all my friends' musics. All the people that I knew, Paul McCartney, Keith Richards, Brian Wilson, Paul Simon, Carol King, uh, and from Heart. And, and so when you said, what can we do special? And we figured out that we would, you know, write a small sentence out in stone blocks and put them on a walkway in the park. It was a beautiful idea. And my friends came through for me. It was my great pleasure to be able to help you with this because of what the Everly Brothers did for me in my life and all my friends. The site has been transformed with beautiful landscaping, a small stage, benches, and signature art pieces. The park is a stunning addition to the city and a dedication to the two that started it all. So when people come to Knoxville for whatever their reason is, they're coming for a convention, a sporting event, a film project, whatever brings them to Knoxville, I think all of our parks, and especially a pocket park that tells the story and the history of the Everly Brothers, is a great way to really reinforce why they chose to visit Knoxville. I would suggest that they listen to a couple of Everly Brother albums, a couple of Everly Brothers singles, Wake Up Little Susie, All I Have to Do Is Dream, and then go to the park. And it will become evidently clear that the city of Knoxville was honored that they got their start in their city. Thank you for watching this episode of Behind the Design. Visit our website today to get involved with the Design Center. We'll see you next time.